Welcome back to another episode of Rose and Gold. I'm your host, IK. Right now I'm at the world famous TP. And no, I'm not talking about toilet paper. I mean, of course, Twin Peaks. Where the food is delicious, or even better. Yes, sir. And with that, let's get into these hot topics with the P. Diddy Honeycomb. Oh, I mean, P. Love Diddy Chronicles, part three. Because this time, it's gotten even worse. You're gonna act different, huh? You, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't. I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, biz, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right. Okay. My number? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Tell you. With the new Diddy documentary releasing by ABC, the only question that we have here at Rosenbold.us is, did he do it? What happened to you? I. Uh, hey, um. <laughs> I fell? We don't know if it's all alleged at this point in time, but there's a lot of information and suspects saying that he did it. G Jacket, Miss Jaguar Rights, Raven Simone has gotten into this, saying that everyone in the industry has had some sort of cooperation with Diddy or has something else behind the scenes. Raven Simone exposing the entertainment industry and how most of them are DL. At this point, I was more aware of my queerness. However, I was in a relationship with a guy who I would tell on a regular basis if we get married, you know, I gotta have a girlfriend, right? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I was like, mm, this is not, it's not gonna just be us, right? Because I need some. My queerness was never an issue because one, I didn't put it out in public and everybody in the industry everybody even if you're straight you know what's up so it's like it's okay but i am aware that during this period of time in our country everybody in the industry yeah everybody even if you're straight you know what's up we know about that but first and foremost make sure to like follow and subscribe so we can keep you posted on the diddy chronicles along with everything else going on in hollywood there's a lot of different things going and a lot of news you're not going to want to miss that Dr. Ross and I are here to cover for you. So speaking of with that court date, Diddy's own children actually came to this court trial and they were saying, let our father go because he is innocent. Well, it truly is about the Benjamin, as we see. Oh, yes, yeah, he, he's literally. It's literally it's about the Benjamin. Yeah. Well, now when we come back, we're going to talk more with Puffy. And if you want to hang out, more than welcome to stick around, my brother. Thank All right, you. we'll be right back with more right after this. A lot, of people, uh, a lot of witnesses and people are asking, are they delusional? Is there something different with them? Number one for the fact that their father has done a lot of different things. There's a lot of things that are saying he did do it. But on top of that, the sons also turned Diddy in with the raid. So we don't know what's going on with the family matters, but we'll keep you all posted with that. Like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. These are all of our hot topics as we're keeping it short and sweet. We'd like to mention for our She's Hot Contest winner, our winner for this week is none other than Miss from the Joker 2, Lady Gaga. Congratulations on your win as you're doing nothing but staying on top. And speaking of, Dr. Ross and I got the chance to watch Joker 2 and Megalopolis in our theaters recently. Number one, Megalopolis, they say it took a decade to write the film. I don't know about all of that, but I know that Dr. Ross and I could have written, produced, and directed the film better. So make sure to stay tuned for our theatrical cut. Entitles you to plow through the riches of my Emersonian mind? Entitles me? Yes. Uh, entitles me? Yes. Entitles me? Yes. So go back to the club. And second off with the Joker. The film is something that's very to the ground and grit. Very, very gritty. However, Lady Gaga, and Joaquin Phoenix both played their roles superbly. And Miss Lady Gaga, as always, was singing and her singing was excellent. But we're gonna leave you guys to watch it and we're not gonna spoil the film too much since there's a thing that happens at the end that a lot of people didn't like. It's horrible. Ha ha. No, really it's not. Bit, yeah. Don't say that. I do think it was. You think so? Certainly. Oh, why is that? Yes, yes. Why? What are you talking about? The ending about? could have been different. No, I loved you it. Did. 
Yikes. Talk. We're going to keep you posted on the latest episodes. And these are all of our hot topics. Miss Lady Gaga, congratulations once again on your win. And before we close it off, I'm actually going to be in the Virgin Islands, St. Croix, in two days now. So make sure to stay tuned for the full trip coming up soon as we're going to release a vlog detailing all of our details, new hot topics, and the places to go. These are all of our hot topics, but we'll see you on the next episode. And to Kylie Jenner and all the ladies out there. Yeah, that brother's starving. Yes, sir. <laughs>